there were a lot more creative people, a lot more creativity, and a lot more of what that concept was of, of family and community. Um, my mom began to frequent a lot of uh, spaces, um, you know, La Plaza Cultural, uh, the New Yorican Cafe, Charras, um, a lot of community arts um, uh, locations and nonprofit organizations, a lot of those were geared towards bringing cultural arts programs to uh, families and children in the neighborhood. Um, at that time, I didn't realize the impact it would have on me later in life. Um, so yeah, it did play a major role, especially um, being involved in the community now um, as the director and program coordinator of Campos Community Center uh, and doing the work that, you know, is very much related to the work that my mom was doing. You know, being the son of someone that's involved in activism and trying to make changes in our community, we lose a lot of what you know normal family settings would be like um, because you know it's like our parents are busy running around the street saving lives and trying to create opportunities for other people so you know it's like it's a bittersweet feeling because in one sense you feel like wait a minute how about me and as a child you don't understand these things but um, like I said it's not so later that you begin to realize that the work you know, and how hard um, the challenges you face as a community leader to bring change into the community. So your family life does suffer, but at the same time, there's a sense of pride knowing that, you know, that uh, that is, you know, someone you look up to. Thank God today, I can say that um, I have a great job. I'm a medical assistant, been here for eight years, and um, the doctors love me, I love my doctors, and um, this job has helped me to improve myself and help my children improve themselves, and um, I couldn't ask for more. All of these things are just a natural evolution of, of who you are and who you come to be based on the exposure that you've had to all of the elements. And in my case, those elements were the struggles, those elements were the streets, those elements were poets, those elements were creative people, actors, um, comedians, you know, graffiti artists, um, you know, so at various levels, all of those elements build up who you are and it, it will naturally seep out through whatever creative medium you decide to get yourself involved in. In my case it was the music. My own fusion when I started doing um, the Day Soul project is um, those elements of Bomba y Plena, Musica Jibara, Salsa Caribeña, Afro-Caribbean, Hip-Hop, reggae, roots music, you know, all of these elements coming together to form what I believe is a very New York based sound because these are all the sounds I grew up listening to. Cuéntanos de, de, de este sonido. Bueno, una fusión de música folclórica. Eh, Boricua, me... ¿no? Boricua. Growing up, when you grow up,
up in certain environments like we do from the inner cities, it's you feel like your options are very limited, you know. Um, and it's good to see that, you know, I was able to pull through that and be able to channel all of this, you know, negativity and bring out something positive. So early on when I was doing music, I didn't realize how powerful this music could be. And in being able to write messages, social messages, you know, we have uh, a serious impact on the people that listen to the music. I do the vocals for him. And uh, we've been on a couple of TV uh, news sessions and um, we've been in Copacabana and we've done a couple of nice shoots and a couple of nice performances where we're very proud to like say yeah we're part of that band. Right now I feel a sense of responsibility to be able to provide that for the younger people coming up especially when it comes to hip-hop and the stigma that hip-hop has right now you know with gangster rap and everything people feel that that's all it could be and you know, I, I want to be a part of the, the movement that says, no, music is not limited to one mindset. We can do, we can do it all. You know, we have different personalities, we have different emotions, and all of those emotions can come through um, in the music that we do. But I do feel like I do have a responsibility to give back to my mom and to Bimbo and a lot of the people that inspired me and I want people to know and not forget that the reason that I'm here doing this is because I was inspired by someone else, you know, and the same way they were an inspiration to me, I want to be able to inspire um, upcoming artists. Um, a lot of the youth in the neighborhood, you know, they feel like I'm definitely a positive role model for them and it makes you feel good. You feel part of something powerful and something good and, and that's something that, you know, will stay. You know, so I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Siempre te amaré, siempre te amaré.